hello, hello, guys. This is Adrienne. I'm back um, from Red Lintel Healing. I got a very interesting request, and I wanted to honor this because I think it's very interesting to do. Um, I got an email from someone asking um, if I could do a chakra reading on Ivanka Trump and figure out what areas in her chakra system that she needs to work on that needs some attention. Um, so I thought I'd do that. That's very interesting. So I'm just going to pull four cards because I think four will give us enough to see if there's a theme that occurs um, with her um, or if there's just four different areas um, that may need to be looked at right now. So again, this is as it stands right now in March. How, end of March, how, um, <laughs> How dusty are Ivanka Trump's chakras, um, basically, is what the question was. So let's take a quick look, pull four cards, and see what it tells us. Very interested to see. I did one on her dad uh, a couple days ago, and it was interesting. There was um, two heart chakra cards and two third eye chakra cards. Um, that doesn't surprise me. Um, with his... Persona in life that um, needing to work on his ability to give and receive love openly and without expectation, and his ability to perceive information, intuit information, be introspective as the third eye shocker would have you be um, with things that are going on around you. So that's a surprise. Me. So let's see what's going on for his daughter. We're getting the um, crown chakra, so we're getting faith. Okay, she needs to work on hope, support, miracles, and spirituality. That's a big one for her. So looking at, she needs to work on having more faith right now. Faith in the universe, faith in things working out. Putting that, those thoughts, um, herself into the higher being, connecting with the universe instead of being so inside of herself. Okay. Next is honesty. With her throat chakra, truth, transparency, sincerity, and communication. Um, speaking her, not only the divine, her divine truth, but just speaking truths in general about the way she sees the world. And also, to listening. Your throat chakra is not so much about speaking, but it's also about listening. So how does she honestly listen to the information that's given to her? Um, her dad got this card. <laughs> um, one of the cards that he got for another reading I did about him um, is possessions, okay? Belongings, finance, assets, treasures. She puts a lot of stock into possessions. Um, this red color, you know, guys, is that root chakra. Um, so there is more of a emphasis on the outer tangible things than there are about security in her her family, um, the things that connecting to the ground, to Mama Earth, to to other things other than possession. So that's something that is really plaguing her um, right now. And then, last but not least, um, is the sacral chakra: relationships, working on intimacy, freedom, acceptance, and trust. Um, she made. <laughs> I'm going to reserve being petty. And, um, there's something she needs to work on with her relationship. And I'm getting this, not just familiar relationships. And by familiar, I mean like with her family. I think it's within her marriage. Um, she needs to work on acceptance and trust right now with her, with her and Jared. So uh, interesting. We got uh, a, a variety of cards. I wasn't like her dad where it was uh, two for the love and two for her chakra. I'm sorry. I say love because one of the cards was the actual love card. Two for the heart chakra, two for the third eye chakra. There's actually, <laughs> take this as you will, there's a variety of areas in her life that she needs to work on to pull her energetic body into, into oneness, into whole, to balance out got to work on that crown chakra and having that faith, that divine trust and faith in the universe. Talking about honesty, truth, transparency, sincerity, communication. Dude, how are you feeling about your possessions? You can't take them with you. 
the end of the day, you can't take it with you, okay? Um, I, my mother's dying words were, gosh, I wish I could take that, that shiny BMW that I saw at the dealership with me. That, trust me, that was not the last thing she was thinking of. I, I can guarantee you that. So you can't take it with you, Ivanka. Work on having, a, having that faith that there is abundance in the world um, and that what you have, what you need, you already have from a financial um, standpoint. Homie, whatever you and Jared got going on, there's a lot of speculation. You may want to check out a couple other readers that I love, like um, uh, Johnny from Tarot's Apprentice, Tallulah's Tarot, um, Jen Lynn. Uh, Becca from House of Norman, they've done a lot of readings on Jared and Ivanka's relationship, but it looks like it's coming out in the relationship card. So take with that as you wish, girl. Work on that intimacy, that freedom, and acceptance and trust. I thought that was a really cool request. Um, thank you, Mr. T, for <laughs> so funny. I didn't mean to call you. I mean, your name starts with a T, but now I feel like I should say I pity the fool. 80s reference for you youngsters out there. Um, Thank you, Mr. T, for that request. That was really cool. Um, so there you have it for Ivanka. If you have a request, drop it down in the comments section. I can um, take a look at anything you'd like, whether it's the chakra cards or um, a tarot reading. If you want a personal reading, just reach out to me at redlentilhealing.com, and uh, we'll get you on the books. Until the next time, guys, take care of yourself so we can take care of each other, so we can take care of Mama Earth, because there's a lot going on right now. We need each other. All right? Stay safe. Have a good one. Bye.